Yes, in Jubail, Saudi Arabia. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com and but call me Mo. Mo better because I'm gonna have you seeing Mo better, looking Mo better, and I'm gonna show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut, I'm not even sure how many I've done for you, but you got your first pair back for me in uh, 2016. You got two pair for me last year in 2018. A pair Oakley, uh, the um, what are they? It's my next pair. Uh, the oh, uh, uh, the Pitchman R Carbon. <laughs> and of course, you got a Ray Ban frame right before going on vacation to Bali. And of course, he sent me his selfie from Bali, and uh, I hate him. No, <laughs> because I want to go there. So, but I must be doing something right because he bought his first pair in 2016. He bought two pair for me in 2018. Now he's buying another pair in 2019. You keep this up, I'm going to personally deliver these to Saudi Arabia for you. But these are the Oakley 5138 tie bar, color 04, which is the satin chrome and the 53 eye size. And of course, we're cutting the eyes in two lenses with Crizal Provencia. I was just kidding. I don't hate you. I, I'm jealous of you. You live the life I want to live. So this is your Oakley hard shell case inside is a really, really, of course, this is a cleaning cloth that carries, doubles as a carrying bag in case you don't want to carry the, the hard case around with you. You can carry this. But this is the Oakley 5138 tie bar. It comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. It comes with, of course, I'm going to bring this in. Hopefully my camera can show this. The Oakley 5138 color 04 and the 53 eye size. And of course, 04 is color satin chrome. And this is the tie bar. The reason it's like a tie clip. These on the inside. It is really cool. You can clip this on your shirt pocket on the outside and it will clip on just like that. Of course, who's going to take these off? You're going to be wearing them the whole time. This is a titanium frame. It's so a super lightweight, super strong, cool, really cool spring hinges. And of course, it comes with metal nose pads. How cool is that? Titanium nose pads. Now this is, even though this looks like a full metal frame, it is just the opposite. This is a metal groove. So I need to start by putting two dots on these lenses and that tells me I just got a straight line in there and if you guys miss any of that, let me recap. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't care if y'all laugh at that. I think it's funny. Um, the reason why I put those two dots on there, let me undo this screw. It is a Phillips head. I'm going to do a little bit of Lefty Lucy. And I shouldn't have gotten a tray over here. I should have. Do I have one around? I'm going to use the case as the tray. Take the lens out. Come on, come on out, come on out, come on out. Oh, you're going to be like that, are you? You're going to be like that, are you? Ooh, that's a long one, too. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Why is this being difficult? Why is this being difficult? Don't tell me I'm going to have to take part of that out to loosen it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Out comes that. Why is that not separating more? Okay, there is. That's got on there for that. Okay, we're going to keep everything the way that is. I'm going to take my tracing element for semi rimless frames, take the lens put it in over those dots and I have a line on that graph. The reason why I put the two dots on there, I have a line on the background of this tracing guide and I make sure that those two dots are on that line. Press that on there firmly and of course you are secret agent 1630. Let me go ahead and program this shape into the computer and I'm going to trace just the right lens only and hit start. It's going to ask me where the bridge width is. It's 16 so I'm going to enter that. And a little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the outer circumference of the right lens. There is no left lens to trace here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Yes, you know you need a prescription. 
I'm gonna move on to the next screen. This is, let's see, your pupillary distance is 30 for the right eye. We're gonna do 30. And one thing I want to check, what is the B measurement on this frame? I can measure it on this lens. B is the vertical depth. I'm getting 33, half of C, 32, 13, 16. Let's do, let's do an OC height of 19. We're going to go two above. All right, so your lenses are prepped. These, whoa, come on back here. Come on, come out from underneath there. All right, I'm tearing the place up. So, don't worry, that's my equipment, not your lenses. I'm going to put the lens onto the platform. These are the Eisen 2 lens. It has a little, these are designed for millennials who spend a lot of time on handheld devices. It has just a little bit extra added magnification at the bottom. So I'm going to cut these like they were progressive. I'm going to change the layout chart to that. This is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side. Put that one on the first block. Now the second one on the back is a little silver button. That is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time is right now after I take the peel of the paper away and make the black side sticky. I'm going to line up that magnet. Get everything lined up the way it should be. And hit that button and the arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. First I got to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Same pupillary distance for the left eye. Same optical center height of 19. In fact, I want to write that down. 19. Get everything lined up the way it's supposed to be. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. I'm going to go ahead and wake it up. 1630. 1630 these are this is a grooved rimless so it's not going to put the v-shaped bevel it's going to cut a groove all the way around and I actually want to widen the groove just a little bit there and i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens but i am going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens i do want to make a note in red that i'm going to cut this 0.70 wide okay and place the lens in there. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. And hit the start. Let's see, that's the depth. That's good. That's the width. Hit the start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first time around. You can see it's tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens all the way around to know where to place the groove so it fits into the frame better. So the cutting wheel is starting up. The lens is going to drop down onto the cutting wheel. The light you see flickering in the background is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic hindex plastic and tribex lenses cut wet meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle now water will spray onto this lens but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses as i mentioned your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they're virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistics grade lenses it also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in Saudi Arabia. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Jubail, Saudi Arabia. Now, i got to admit, I like Saudi Arabia. I send uh, several pair of, of glasses there every year. It is my most popular country in, in the Middle East. And, of course, I do offer international shipping. Now, here's what I do for international shipping. I charge $35 up front. However, 
the price of shipping changes it's like the stock market it goes up and down for no reason so let's just say your shipping charges are $21 I charge you 35 up front, you will see the amount of the shipping on the package. It does that for international. So if it's $21, I will refund $14 back to your PayPal account. Now, if it goes over $35, I will not charge you any extra. I'll cover that, and that does happen too. Now, the lens is flat, if you notice. The little levers coming out on the left hand side there is a spinning blade the lens is going to drop down and get a six tenths of a deep groove cut into it and it's going to cut at six seven tenths of a millimeter wide i'm going to do an extra tenth of a millimeter because of the metal the metal is a little bit thicker than in most yeah let's do seven tenths Now the Crizol Provencia has, uh, is the only anti-glare coating that helps block the harmful blue light emitted from today's electronic devices. There's other ways you can get it in the lens. The Eisen itself comes with its own blue blocking ability and then the Crizol Provencia on top of that giving you twice the protection. Now the, you can also get blue light protection from Transitions and Transitions Extra Active. But he did not want to do Transitions this time. He got them last time. He just wanted a different look evidently. So on that same spinning lever it's going to actually it's going to go back down onto the bevel wheel but not actually getting the bevel. It's just going to smooth out any rough edges. It's going to make the edge exactly flat again. Just like a nickel, if I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter on its own. This is a really, really nice frame. It's an all titanium Oakley. The tie bar comes in a couple sizes, I believe. I know it comes in several colors. So water has begun spraying on the lens, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. In just a moment, a little lever will, the same lever will come back out, but this time, it's going to, at the end of that lever is a spinning disc. It's going to act like a very fine grid sandpaper to grind away any rough edges on the front surface of the lens, giving it what's known as a safety bevel before doing the same thing on the rear concave surface of the lens. And that concludes your vocabulary lesson of the day. Ding! You may turn the page. So now it's getting the safety bevel on the rear concave surface. Just should any portion of this lens come in contact with the cheek, although it won't because the nose pads create separation. Unlike a plastic frame that sits closer in, the nose pads creates distance, vertex distance away from the face. So in just a moment, I'll open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can, I just gotta stare at it for a couple hours, but then I can do it. I can do anything with my mind except come up with new jokes. So let's go ahead and flip this over to L. I'm going to put the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky Baby, the Chuckarama, or today it is the Yaz. Hit start. Just like before the door closes. The, oh, actually, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's not go any further. Let me clean this off. I just know from experience I may have to take this lens down a little bit further. Let's see if it fits first time around. Unlike the string mount grooves, where it always does that, these metal grooves may require me to take a little bit more off of the, fr off of the lens for it to fit. So we shall see. Let's see if we can get that lens tucked in there easily. Not the easiest frame to work with, might I add. Okay, we're, let's see. Did we get it? Did we get it? That is not your problem, that is my problem. I'm the one cutting the lenses. I'm going to make sure it is perfect. There we go. We are into the groove. And no, I don't believe that is going to close. So let me take some more off of that lens. Let's go down to three-tenths of a millimeter. Let's take that left lens out, put it back down. 
put the right lens back over there and hit retouch so this is going to be one of my longer videos longer than average it's going to take me a while to get the right side just perfect once we get the size perfect we'll switch over and cut the left but you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses I, can, I cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide. You want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses. It's not like you live next door. You can just pop over and have me resize it. You're only about, what, 16 hours of flight time away from me? So it took three tenths of a millimeter off going around. Now it's got to cut a slightly deeper groove. Then we're going to go back and do the safety bevel on the front and back of the lens. I'm glad I stopped before cutting the left lens. Although I could always go back and resize the right after doing the left. But I just know from experience these metal grooves, because of the thickness of the metal, takes a few times resizing it to make everything perfect. You're going to be like that, are you? Okay, okay. Let's see. How do you go on there like... You do it from the inside. That's probably why I study for a minute. I believe you are on the inside. Ain't you something? Ain't you something? making me think I don't like to do that you don't pay me enough to think okay now we're cooking with gas now I know what to do now I know do I want to put that in there first or later yeah, I might as well keep it in there Okay. And again, if it does not fit this time, I'm just going to have to make it fit again. Do the same thing again. We're going to take the lens out. Get all the optical sawdust off. Use this to clean the grooves out. Get all the optical sawdust off the edge of the lens. See if we can get this to fit this time. Sure, be like that, be like that. fun one Ooh, this gonna be one of them nights oh now we're gonna be a nightmare it is okay because I can always reblock Tell you what, let's take this lens, let's see how this fits. Of course, I'm going to put this back in there. 
Ain't this one a fun one? It's all right. This can't be more stubborn than I am. My wife will tell you that. But I insist that stubborn's a good thing. I always figure out how to do something. I do not give up easily. That's the good thing about being stubborn. Okay, slide on back in there. Slide on back to where you belong. There we go. Let's get the lens in there where we belong. Pop in there just right. Pop in there. Now where'd that screw go? Come on, screw. There you are. There you are. Make sure everything's in place before I tighten it down. Ooh, ain't you a peach, Huckleberry? Okay, we are good to go, and that is on size. We've got the right base curve on this lens. That was critical in ordering. We're going to do the same thing now. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or as I like to call it, you heard me say it before, the Yaz. Hit start, the door closes, the clamp shuts. Just like before, the lens will be traced by the two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. Going around tracing the shape of the left side of the frame this time. And just like before, measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly where to place the bevel for the optimum cosmetic quality of which we have that. Now, I need to inspect the lens, but I need to put two d the dots on the lenses, just like it was a progressive. The PD has worn off, so we're going to come down here, place two dots on the lens. That tells me where the optical center is when I use my Essilor Verilux layout chart. Come down here, spin the fine tune knob to 102. Put the lens in over that dot, and I am getting plus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. That's because the, your prescription reads plus 50 minus 1 and a quarter at 102, so you, have, you are far-sighted and you need two steps of near-sighted correction to make everything the correct size. That lens will magnify. Then you need another five steps of astigmatism correction to make everything crisp. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike of the letters P and F, so think of it as the fine two knob. And we're going to turn that fine two knob to 102. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn it just past the 90th meridian to about 102. Now your left eye, same amount of nearsighted correction, but you only need four steps of astigmatism correction. We're going to turn that fine two knob to 72. Now let's check that second curvature on the lens, the minus one and a quarter. And we're at minus 75, going from zero towards one. We're one tick mark away from one. That's because if you had loaned someone 50 cents, and then they came back and if you had 50 cents and someone needed to borrow a dollar 25, you would be 75 cents in the red, 75 in the red. Now your left eye, you're only gonna be at minus 50 in the red. You're starting out at plus 50 again, and then subtract one from that. Now the Oakley 5138 tie bar sells for 303. The eyes, and of course you get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. The Eisen 2, there's the Eisen 0, there's the Eisen 1, 2, and 3. The 2 gives between I think a 50, a 50 and 60 magnification at the bottom. The Eisen 2, I mean, excuse me, the Eisen 3 is about 0.75 to 0.87 steps of magnification. The, all of the Eisen sell for $79.99, and of course, Crizal Provencia adds $119.99 for a total of $502.98 before international shipping. So it's cutting the groove into the lens. It tells me it's in the final steps. So 
So this is my first time cutting lenses for the Oakley tie bar. Did it look like I was struggling? I've got a little secret for you. I was. <laughs> a day in the life of a bench optician. That is live TV for you. You will see me juggle chainsaws as needed while riding a unicycle on a high wire. But I'll do it. I love the challenge. None of this is rehearsed, and it shows, doesn't it? <laughs> This lens should fit this time around. I don't have to take it down any additional steps. Of course, I will write on the card that I took it down. 30 for the right eye and same for the left. This is a very popular frame right now. It's on back order in all four colors, but he was willing to wait. I thank everyone who's watching since you're having to wait for this other lens to come out. But just because I've been doing these things for years, I was prepared. Every pair of glasses is different. You never know how it's going to turn out, especially since every prescription is different. You have to be able to think on your feet react accordingly sure I learned a lot of it in school but nothing prepares you for real life like real life does what happens in the classroom is usually so different from what happens in real life dry everything off come down here to grab my grab my toothbrush run around the edge of the lens clean everything off all the optical sawdust let's go ahead and get take the screw out of the left side this is longer than average screw Let's see if we can get that left lens out without taking any more. I doubt it. I doubt it. Well, how about that? My doubting ends. Let's see if I can get this lens in there. Without taking any more apart. I doubt that too. Take a little bit more off. At least the screw. Take the screw out, by the way. Alright, out comes the screw. Gives me a little more wiggle room. Let's do that into the thickest part. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. And then we will tighten everything back up. With the time difference, he is probably asleep right now. He's going to wake up to get his tracking number and his video to see that his glasses are made. I wonder if he dreamt about these. They say your ears are burning if someone's talking about you. I wonder if his eyes are burning while he's sleeping, since we're talking about his eyes. Oh, come on, you were just so nice a second ago. You were so nice a second ago. And now you just don't want to work with me. This is a stubborn frame, but don't worry, I am more stubborn. I am stubborner. Okay. 
Okay, let's pop that back out. Am I boring you guys yet? There, you get a better camera angle to see me struggle. Did I say this frame was $303? Well, I meant to say it's $503. <laughs> For the next time I have to cut one of these. I'm going up in price. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. I'll be ready next time. Hang on. I see what the issue is. I see what the issue is. Let me try doing this. I'm going to do a little bit of this and then a whole lot of this. I'm glad these are unbreakable polycarbonate lenses. That's another reason I love these things. just in there you were just in there there we go I just had to get better leverage now let me tighten that screw down You know what? I just don't like this. I just don't like it. Let me take it down. I don't want to have to force anything in there. Let me take it down another tenth of a millimeter and I'll notate that on your records. Just the difference in prescription can affect it that much. One tenth of a millimeter. Alright, we're going to do this a couple more minutes. The difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra in the beginning. Gonna take a tenth of a millimeter off going all the way around. Want to make sure this screw does tighten down all the way. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. So it is the lens. Everybody likes to claim mechanical failure, but that was pilot's error. So the groove is being deepened. Now it's got to flatten it back out again, smooth out any rough edges. And then we're going to super smooth the edges.
So now the safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. Essentially just making the edge, that front edge of the lens smooth and it's going to do the same thing on the back concave surface of the lens. And now the back concave. Now, Yaz, I want you to open the door with your mind this time. Well done, Yaz. Well done. See how much optical sawdust I've got to take off this time. It's amazing what tools you can use in the optical world that can be applied elsewhere. Have you ever tried to use this for something not cleaning a lens? It works okay for that too. All right, so. Hopefully that'll fit. That went in there a whole lot easier that time. Let's tighten that screw down. Ah, don't be popping around on me. Ooh, you're making everything difficult. Let's see if I can place that there. I put my thumb on that to keep the three parts from coming apart. Back that screw out a little more. <laughs> oh, you're going to be like that. You're going to be like that, are you? For everyone who's watching me here, leave a comment on something in life that you struggled with but did not give up on valuable lessons that you can share with other people. Very few things in life come easy. If something is difficult, you know you're on the right path. Like that. Like that. The screw head is matching on both sides, it's sitting flush, it's telling me that it's mounted in there perfectly. Whoo! Let's go ahead and take that block off and inspect the lens. Use my hand approved drying method, throw that back in there, add to my collection, and to come back down here, put some more dots on that lens. You guys missed any of that? Let me recap. <laughs> Just gotta work that joke in somewhere. Gotta work it in. Turn the axis wheel to 72. Put the lens in above that dot. Read the power. I'm getting plus 50 again, exactly halfway between zero and one in the black. Plus 50, we have minus one. We're gonna go into the red. And we're at minus 50 there, exactly halfway between zero and one again. Pupillary distance is 60. Turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When we measure over to the other dot, we're getting 60 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Check the optical center height of 19. Is that what I did? Yeah. And we get to the bottom of the lens, we're getting 19 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Again, 19 millimeters. So this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that uh, this purchase is tax-free. 
Now, he might actually have to pay some import tax on these. I do not know. Every custom has, every country has its own customs and duties. But anyone in America who gets this frame, all purchases are tax-free, not because it's on the internet, because now everyone on the internet except me has to charge tax. It's because I am in North Carolina, and North Carolina considers eyeglasses as a medical device, and they don't charge tax on medical device, so I don't have to charge this frame. And lens combination is 502.98, 502.98 times 8% sales tax. Other people would have to pay an extra $40.23, but you don't have to pay any of that when you buy the glasses from me. Of course, this also includes free shipping anywhere in the U.S. But yeah, as when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that one side could sit higher than the other. But there's an 80%, excuse me, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. But I'm going to get these in. Because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame is three. I press down. There is no wobble. Flip that over. And when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Oop. Flip these over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew like that. Check the tension on the spring hinge, that is good. So, thank you for watching. If you want to see, more, see me struggle with easy glasses next time, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter as freerxlenses. I am an authorized Oakley dealer, however, I'm not allowed to individually list the frames and prices on the website, so Yaz emailed me and said, can you get me this frame? I said, yes. I went to check on it, and I told him how long it was going to be because it was on back order. He said he was willing to wait. Usually it's about two weeks if they have to wait on any frame to come from the overseas account, but you can email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below about what Oakley frame you'd want or any other frame. So I send out a selfie request in every package. I also send out cleaning instructions not only on your frame and lenses, but for your Oakley cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide. And I field test everyone to make sure that it works. So when you get these in the mail and you see the wrinkle in it, you know that it works. But I also send out instructions on how to care for your case as well so it'll last you for years. So Yaz in Jubail, Saudi Arabia, thank you for your multiple purchase. This time for the Oakley 5138 color 04 satin chrome in the 53 eye size. Again, this is the tie bar. I will not be discouraged. If anyone else wants this frame, I can make it happen for you. So thanks again for the purchase. Thanks again for watching. And hopefully everyone now has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.